right now you have to kind of earn hope because I hope this doesn't come out of the blue where saying, oh, people are standing up. People have been standing up for 50 years and we need to actually see politicians in our economy stand up for people that are being displaced by the climate crisis. Hi, my name is Jerome Fox II. I'm the founder and executive director of One Million of Us and I'm the White House climate striker. Where I see the greatest opportunity for us to be set on a better trajectory this year is for us to go out and vote in the 2020 elections. And it's for more and more young people to come out in the streets and, and climate strike. And it's for politicians to start taking action. Some of our communities aren't being covered. It's not just about young people skipping school. It's about people dying right now in Miami, in um, Lower Ninth Ward in Louisiana, and in Petaluma, California, that's facing fires and droughts and so many different things that are impacting people right now. I think that when we start taking those voices seriously and start covering them and start making sure that they have a liberal future and a sustainable lifestyle, that's when we'll start seeing action. That's when we'll start seeing real changes. This third day, I'm working with Fires for Future and with um, One Million of Us and with so many other organizations to basically have uh, 72 hours of climate strikes. We're on Wednesday, we'll do a deep strike, which is also Earth Day 50. And also on Thursday, we're doing a big divestment movement. On Friday, we're doing a mass voter registration, which One Million of Us is helping to lead, where we get hundreds of thousands of young people to register to vote in this on these three days and beyond that to make sure that politicians see the issue of climate change as the top priority in 2020.